It's a very, very important deal for the armed forces. Whatever will be done will be in the national interest. And the government is progressing in a way to create a capability for the nation to provide its own security. The vision of Honorable Prime Minister is to create India as a drone hub. So this is a uh, step in that direction. Firstly, it's a very, very important deal for the armed forces because it will provide a capability on intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance for the armed forces, Army, Navy and Air Force. And this is an uh, extremely important capability for the armed forces to provide the security to the nation because it gives the surveillance capability and we are able to cover a wide expanse of the Indian Ocean region and also the borders of, of our northern and western neighbour. And uh, uh, sir, uh, there are some people who have uh, raised questions about the pricing of the deal and uh, the capabilities that it may provide to the armed forces. Can, uh, you have personally been associated with the procurement case. Can you tell us about it? At uh, present, an AON has been accorded by the Defence Acquisition Council, which was a joint case of Army, Navy and Air Force. And now the process of acquisition will start because it's a foreign military sales case where a letter of request will be sent and then there will be a letter of uh, LOA would be uh, sent by the offer and agreement would be sent by the US government and there will be negotiations. So the price has not been decided. I think there are speculations about the price which need, uh, we should be kept aside. Because we will, uh, whatever will be done will be in the national interest. And the government is progressing in a way to pro create a capability for the nation to provide its own security. And it's a very, very important capability, as I said. And uh, therefore, uh, we need not worry about the price as such. What will be important is that it's a capability which we need and we urgently need. This is not a case which has been done in a short time. It has been processed for uh, quite many years. There have been negotiations. There have been ways how to create an in, uh, indigenous capability. We need this capability because we need to pole vault to a greater capability and uh, for a technology which we need, urgently need. Because uh, the India is seen as a nation which provides regional stability and peace in the region. And for this, we have a, we have a responsibility not only to our nation but to the world to create a zone of peace in the Indian Ocean and this capability provides that. I think uh, the process which is going on is in the national interest. Uh, is, there any scope, uh, is there any scope of any wrongdoing? No, I do not think there is any scope for any wrongdoing because uh, this is something, this is some technology which we need and uh, there is a process which is being followed and for which uh, there, there are, there are uh, checks and balances which are inbuilt, which will ensure that this will be a deal which will be in the national interest. And we are looking at a capability that in future, this we are presently buying is just minimum operational requirement of the three services, which will meet just the requirement at present. In future, the aim is to build this indigenously. And this uh, particular capability when we acquire, it will, uh, there, are, there is scope for local manufacture of various components. So therefore, it will uh, get the technology here. It will give a boost to uh, Indian defense PSUs. It will give a boost to MSMEs. It will give to local aero defense industries, which will also get a boost. And we will be a, a local hub for uh, the uh, supply and maintenance for this particular. And it will help the other countries around who, who, are, or who, who are operating these drones. And also, I, our vision of Honorable Prime Minister is to create India as a drone hub. So this is a uh, step in that direction.